My name is Mariam and um, my role in the Places We Carry exhibition was to look through poetry, see what I felt resonated best for myself and the people around me within the exhibition. Uh, so my name is Rami and I'm originally a Rocky but I was born in London and it's a collection of different poems and pieces all focused on the Middle East. My name is Adam, I am from Lebanon. My name is uh, Nabila Abdul Faraj and uh, I came from Saudi Arabia. Uh, I enjoy the, this uh, art club since September. I'm part of one of the exhibition and I did different art pieces. My name is Fiafir Kayoun and I am the uh, coordinator of the Our Sharing Heritage project. And uh, I coordinate the two years uh, of the project, which we started with the olive jar, the performance, and this, and moving to the art uh, workshop. And these stories, they were kept inside me all these years, 30 years I have been living in Britain. I didn't share with anybody these uh, stories, honestly, because I didn't have any friends or families or, or even my family in Lebanon, I didn't share with them because that's it. And here it's a big opportunity to share with the people and uh, because many of Arab people who come, they have similar stories. So we got some advice from the instructor and from uh, the guidance team. Oh, it was very, very in a good time. I felt I did something for myself to express myself, to, to, know, to develop a new skill. I actually, I didn't know that I can do something amazing <laughs> like this. They try to discover themselves with all these um, skills that they, they have, but they didn't, they didn't believe in or didn't feel it or didn't try it before. And I'm really, really pleased and, uh, you know, my heart, <laughs> you know, uh, it's bring my heart home uh, when I see all these pieces at the end and it's on its place in this exhibition. Rather than just talking about it, you will, there's paintings and there's poetry and that's more of an artistic way to kind of bring a strong message along. I think it started off with war, but then it also focused on just the history of the Middle East and seeing both even the positive sides, the love side, the all the happy sides as well because it's kind of often forgotten but there is a rich history there. We were both a bit worried at first uh, because everyone was, they could speak fluent Arabic, could write fluently in Arabic. I thought there would be a bit of a gap there of feeling like we don't know much but we felt just as involved and they gave us an opportunity to understand these stories, look more into it and feel really a part of being a a Middle Eastern individual, and that was the good thing about Grand Junction, is they, there is this good involvement. They ensure that you feel involved. And they are very proud of themselves to share their, their own things with us here in the Grand Junction. And they feel that they are belong to, to this place and integrated as well with, with the whole uh, heritage that we have in this place.